The Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, wants an end to all forms of gender-based violence, especially in the workplace. It held an advocacy rally to show support for the International Labour Organization's convention. TVC News correspondent Joke Adisa tells us more. IMO convention is against sexual violence. It's against gender-based violence. We say no to harassment. Sexual harassment, discrimination, and all forms of violence against male and female workers are a common feature in the work environment. The story of this lady, a civil servant whose identity will not be disclosed here, is a case in point. Her efforts to claim her late father's pension in 2003 opened her eyes to sexual harassment in the workplace. She would not succumb to threats and had to take her case to higher authorities, and in the end, she was vindicated. She was lucky, but many others in her shoes have not been as favored, and that is why she has joined the advocacy group for the elimination of all forms of harassment in offices. He harassed me because he wanted me to sleep with him before he could release my father's pension to him, which at the end of the day I refused to do, and followed it up by writing, copying the relevant agencies at the end of the day. My father's pension was released to him, and I am glad I was able to do that. But what I feel is pity, and sim I'm sympathetic to the plight of women who do not know how to go about some of these things. Although Nigeria lacks requisite statistics, the increasing rate of these vices has become a matter of public concern. Cases such as those involving Rachel and Jerry of Makerere University Monica Osagi of Obafemi Awolo University and renowned feminist writer Chimamanda Adichie have in no small measure contributed to the growing scandal. Some Nigerians speak on what brings about sexual harassment. I believe that such kind of act is being done by people that are probably, um, they are being removed by a particular influence of something. You don't wear short skirt, mini skirt, leggings to office and tell your director not to look, to close his eyes. You want him to fall? If a woman dresses properly, a man, before a man will sexually harass that lady, if that man has a conscience, he will think twice. Nigeria has enabling laws kicking against all forms of gender-based violence. These women believe Plans to adopt the ILO convention in June this year will go a long way to check the ugly development. They believe also that what is termed indecent dressing is no excuse for harassment. We are doing this to prepare Nigerians so that uh, all we wait for is the convention. Immediately we come back uh, because we are ready on it. Uh, we expect that uh, Nigeria will adopt it. Men walk about, sometimes they are hot, and they decide to walk only with their singlets and their boxers, and women don't harass them because of that. So if a woman decides to wear spaghetti because she's feeling hot, or she's going to uh, a function that needs her to wear spaghetti, you don't go and harass her. And ahead of the ILO adoption of his convention on putting a stop to gender-based violence at workplaces, the Nigerian government says it is buying into its ratification and domestication. The advocacy rallies in commemoration of this year's International Women's Day celebrated every 8th of March. The group is sensitizing men and women on the need to shun violence against both genders. They are also advocating the elimination of every form of violence against the worker, either at home, as house helps, drivers or cooks, or in the offices. Jokea Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.